The Street Rides Again, a 1939 film directed by George Marshall, is a Western comedy set in the American frontier. Marlene Beatrick and Jimmy Stewart deliver compelling performances as the leads, supported by a talented ensemble including Charles Winninger, Brian Donlevy, Miss Cha Hauer, Irene Hervey, and Una Merkel. This classic film blends humor with the adventure of the Wild West, showcasing the dynamic between its charismatic protagonists and a diverse cast of characters. In the 1939 film Destroy Rides Again, the town of Bottleneck is under the control of Kent, a corrupt and unscrupulous individual. Kent's manipulation of a poker game leads to the murder of Sheriff Keogh, who was investigating the fraudulent activity. The power dynamics in Bottleneck take a turn when the mayor, also corrupt, and in league with Kent, appoints Washington Dimmesdale, a man known more for his drinking habits than law enforcement, as the new sheriff. This appointment is part of a larger scheme to maintain control over the town without interference from the law. The plot thickens as the characters navigate through this web of deceit and corruption, setting the stage for a classic western showdown. In the 1939 film Destry Rides Again, the character Dimmesdale, who has previously served as a deputy under the renowned Tom Destry, makes a personal vow to abstain from alcohol. Recognizing the need for order in the lawless town of Bottleneck, Dimmesdale reaches out to Tom Destree's son, Tom Jr., and invites him to take up the role of deputy. Upon arrival, Tom Jr.'s unorthodox and peaceful methods of law enforcement are met with skepticism and mockery by the townsfolk. His refusal to carry a gun and his reliance on clever words and nonviolent tactics to defuse situations lead many to underestimate him. However, his commitment to justice and his innovative approach to maintaining peace challenge the town's perception of strength and courage. In the 1939 film Destry Rides Again, the character Tom Destry Jr., portrayed by James Stewart, employs unconventional and non-violent approaches to law enforcement when he becomes the deputy sheriff of a small frontier town. His tactics contrast sharply with the prevailing methods of his contemporaries who often resort to violence. The film explores the effectiveness of these peaceful strategies in maintaining order and justice. As the narrative unfolds, Destry Jr. faces various challenges and conflicts, including his interactions with Frenchie, a saloon girl characterized by Marlene Dietrich. Her complex relationship with Destry Jr. adds layers to the storyline, as her character is not just a source of charm, but also pivotal to the development of the plot. The dynamics between Destry Jr.'s pacifism and the rough and tumble environment of the Wild West create a compelling juxtaposition that drives the film's narrative forward. In the 1939 film Destry Rides Again, Marlene Dietrich delivered memorable performances of the songs See What the Boys in the Back Room Will Have and You've Got That Look. These songs gained significant popularity and became widely recognized as classics, largely attributed to their presence in the movie. Dietrich's portrayal and musical numbers contributed to the film's appeal and have been celebrated in cinematic history. Her role in the film showcased her singing talent and added a unique charm to the movie's soundtrack leaving a lasting impression on audiences and enhancing the film's overall entertainment value. Destry Rides Again, released in 1939, is significant as it was James Stewart's initial foray into the Western film genre. This movie showcased Stewart in a role divergent from his previous characters, portraying a lawman with a strong moral compass and a disdain for violence. The film's narrative and Stewart's portrayal were pivotal in shaping the actor's future roles in westerns. It wasn't until over a decade later that Stewart returned to the western scene with Winchester 73 and Broken Arrow where he further explored and solidified his presence in the genre. The Stry Rides Again thus stands as a key point in Stewart's acting career, marking the beginning of his association with westerns, which would become a defining element of his filmography in the years to follow. In the 1939 film The Stry Rides Again, directed by George Marshall and starring Marlene Dietrich and James Stewart, the production encountered censorship challenges. The movie included a particularly intense fight scene between the characters played by Dietrich and Una Merkel. This scene stood out because it was not choreographed, leading to an authentic display of conflict that resulted in actual bruises for Dietrich. The physicality of the altercation pushed the boundaries of what was acceptable on screen at the time, prompting censors to review the film's content. Despite these issues, the film was released and has since become a classic of the Western genre. 
In the production of the 1939 film Destroy Rides Again, Marlene Dietrich and Una Merkel were fully committed to the authenticity of their performances, particularly during a physically demanding catfight scene. The decision to forego stunt doubles meant that both actresses engaged directly in the action. This level of physical involvement resulted in Merkel experiencing significant bruising, while Dietrich sustained a painful injury, losing a toenail. This incident highlights the risks actors often take to bring realism to their roles, and it remains a notable aspect of the film's behind-the-scenes history. In the 1939 film Destroy Rides Again, humor plays a significant role in balancing the tension of the Western setting. The movie cleverly integrates lighthearted moments, particularly through the character of Tom Destry, portrayed by Jimmy Stewart. One memorable instance of the film's comedic approach is the scene where Destry nonchalantly throws water over Frenchie, played by Marlene Dietrich, and Lily Bell, played by Una Merkel. This unexpected act serves as a humorous counterbalance to the otherwise intense confrontations typical of the genre. The execution of this scene was challenging, necessitating several attempts to capture the perfect comedic timing and reactions from the actors, ultimately contributing to the film's enduring appeal as a western with a humorous twist. In the 1939 film Destroy Rides Again, a scene that sparked considerable controversy was subject to censorship. This scene featured the character played by Marlene Dietrich, where she made a suggestive remark linking her gambling success to a risque double entendre. The audience's reaction to this scene was strong and immediate, leading to the involvement of censors who decided that the content was too provocative for the era's standards. Consequently, the decision was made to remove this particular scene from the film entirely. This incident highlights the strict moral guidelines that filmmakers had to navigate during that period and reflects the broader societal attitudes towards on-screen representations of sexuality and humor. The removal of the scene underscores the power and influence of audience perception and the censor's role in shaping the final version of cinematic works during the late 1930s. Destry Rides Again, released in 1939, became a pivotal film for Marlene Dietrich, who was experiencing a significant downturn in her acting career. Prior to this film, Dietrich had been labeled box office poison due to a series of commercial failures. However, her role as Frenchie, a saloon girl with a heart of gold, showcased her acting abilities in a new light and won over both audiences and critics. The success of the film not only brought her back into the spotlight, but also demonstrated her talent in handling roles with a comedic edge, which was a departure from the more serious and dramatic characters she had previously portrayed. This shift helped to reestablish her as a leading actress in Hollywood and opened doors to a variety of roles that she might not have been considered for before. Destry Rides Again is often credited with breathing new life into Dietrich's career, securing her status as a film star of the era. Marlene Dietrich's commitment to her film roles was exceptional, a trait that shone through in the 1939 western Destry Rides Again. For her portrayal of Frenchie, a saloon girl with a heart of gold, Dietrich immersed herself in the culture of the American West. She went to great lengths to add authenticity to her character, including mastering the art of rolling cigarettes in a style that was characteristic of the time and setting. This dedication to detail not only enhanced the believability of her character, but also demonstrated her thorough approach to embodying the personas she portrayed on screen. Dietrich's efforts contributed significantly to the film's success and the credibility of her performance, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. In the 1939 film Destry Rides Again, Marlene Dietrich portrayed the character Frenchie, a saloon singer in the small frontier town of Bottleneck. Her performance brought a unique blend of toughness and allure to the role, which became a defining part of her acting career. This portrayal was so memorable that it later inspired the character of Lily Von Seichtup, played by Madeline Kahn in the 1974 comedy Blazing Saddles. The homage is evident in Kahn's portrayal, from her musical performances to her assertive screen presence, echoing the strength and charisma that Dietrich originally brought to the screen. The influence of Dietrich's Frenchie is a clear example of how a single role can resonate through cinema history, shaping performances and character archetypes in subsequent films. In the 1939 film Destry Rides Again, James Stewart portrayed Thomas Jefferson Destry, a lawman who does not resort to violence but uses his wits to uphold justice in the town of Bottleneck. Off the screen, Stewart's persona was that of a courteous individual, a stark contrast to the Hollywood image often associated with high-profile romances. 
Before settling down in marriage in 1949, Stewart's personal life was marked by several well-known romantic relationships. His on-screen roles often reflected the honorable qualities he exhibited in his personal life, making him a beloved figure in American cinema. During the production of the 1939 film Destroy Rides Again, lead actors James Stewart and Marlene Dietrich were involved in a passionate affair. This relationship was not kept private and soon became known to the public, casting a shadow of scandal over the film's production. The affair between Stewart and Dietrich was unexpected, given their contrasting on-screen personas, and it sparked considerable interest and in gossip that surrounded the movie's release. The off-screen romance added an extra layer of excitement and allure to the film as audiences were intrigued by the chemistry between the two stars, which was rumored to have been fueled by their real-life connection. In the 1939 film Destroy Rides Again, there was a notable incident during production that highlighted the strong chemistry between the lead actors, James Stewart and Marlene Dietrich. During a particular scene, Stewart's reaction to Dietrich was so intense that it disrupted the filming process. This occurrence was significant enough to necessitate a temporary halt in production. It was an instance that underscored the depth of their connection beyond the camera, reflecting how their personal dynamics could influence their professional work. This event is a clear example of how the interactions between co-stars can sometimes mirror the intensity of the characters they portray on screen. In the film Destroy Rides Again, the relationship between the characters portrayed by James Stewart and Marlene Dietrich takes a pivotal turn. Initially, there is a connection that seems to hold promise beyond the screen. However, as their journey together unfolds, a shift occurs. Stewart, embodying the role of a lawman who avoids violence, treats the end of their affair with a certain nonchalance, minimizing its depth and the connection they shared. On the other side, Dietrich, who plays a saloon singer with a tough exterior, but a tender heart, experiences a sense of betrayal and emotional pain from the dissolution of their relationship. This divergence in their reactions highlights the complexity of their on-screen chemistry and the personal undercurrents that add a layer of tension to their professional collaboration. Destroy Rides Again, released in 1939, stands out as a classic Western comedy that has garnered appreciation for its script and the actor's performances. The film navigates through the genre with a unique blend of humor and action, setting it apart from typical Westerns of its time. The narrative follows Tom Destry, a lawman who doesn't believe in gunplay, as he arrives in the town of Bottleneck to restore order. His unconventional methods and the dynamic performances, especially by James Stewart and Marlene Dietrich, bring the characters to life with authenticity and charm. The movie's ability to balance comedic elements with a compelling storyline has led to its recommendation as a must-watch film. Despite any off-screen challenges, the end product is a testament to the talent involved in its creation making Destroy Rides again a memorable piece of cinema history.